Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the domain of a function on your TI Inspire task. So you're going to want to be in a calculator page when you do this. And there's two ways that you can get to domain. It's, uh, I haven't found it in a menu, but it is in the catalog. So that's this button next to the templates, which you probably press more often. I've already scrolled down to that, but if you, if you um, are doing this for the first time, you'll probably be up here at A. If you just type the letter D, it will bounce to the first alphabetical entry for D. And then you can just kind of scroll through the list until you get to domain. And you can see it's telling you that when you use the function, you have to give it an expression and then um, a variable. So I'm gonna give it an expression, a variable, and it's gonna try to find the domain. So domain, let's do something that we can easily confirm. So say my function is one over x minus one. In that function, the variable is x, so I'm telling the calculator that, and then I'm gonna press enter. And what it does is it tells you um, what is not in the domain. Uh, in this particular case. So the domain is all reals except for one. So it did a good job with that. Um, another way of accessing the function is to just type it in, which is really fast if you're on a computer, but not so fast on the handheld. Um, so say I want the domain of, let's do the uh, square root of, uh, let's do x plus two over x minus five. Okay, so remember you have to tell it the variable, so comma x, and if I press enter, it gives me um, x is less than or equal to negative 2, and x is greater than 5. So it does a really good job with these. Um, it can also find the domain of trig functions, which maybe you haven't gotten to yet, but if you have gotten to, this is a, a really nice feature. So I'm going to, one feature of the catalog is it stays on the last thing you used it for. So if you're doing a lot of things with domain, it's just going to be on domain when you get there. So domain, and let's give it a trig function. So it does something weird with the trig functions. I'm typing tangent, but you, of course, would find it from the trig menu. So tangent of, let's say, uh, x over 3, let's get the cursor out of the way, minus pi. And then i got to get out of that parentheses. I've got to say comma x. And there we go. So that's kind of ugly. No human would really get that answer. So what I do when I use the calculator to find domains is I then combine it with the algebra menu and expand. So I go menu three, three, expand, and I'm just gonna expand the answer, which I can put a box around and paste down to get that, or I can use control and then the, uh, the negative sign to get answer, and it expands that. What I don't really like about this is it seems to always give you the first negative value that's not in the domain, rather than giving you the first positive value. But what you can do is, um, the calculator treats the, uh, the n, which is an element of the integers, it says n1 because it's the first time we used that feature. Um, what I can do is, I'm just gonna add three pi to both sides of this. And um, now you can see here on this side, uh, if I use three pi over two plus three pi n, where n is an element of the integers, those are actually the asymptotes, so the domain would be x is an element of the reals, x is not equal to 3 pi over 2 plus 3 pi n. Um, and just to show you what happens, if I do it again, so domain, let's do the domain of the secant of, uh, doesn't really matter, x over 5 plus pi over 9, let's say. And bounce out, comma, x. So this, again, it's kind of ugly, I'm going to expand it. So menu 3, 3, and paste down. So I get that. Again, it's giving me the first negative. I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 pi. And you can see it's using n2 instead of n1 because it's the second time we've kind of invoked this function um, in this problem. It resets for each new problem and each new um, document that you start. So I'm going to just add 5 pi to get the first positive one. And so the answer I would write is for the domain, x is an element of the reals. x is not equal to 35 pi over 18 plus five pi times n, where n is an element of the integers. All right, so um, that's how you can find domains on your calculator. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.